Okay, this is a question I hear a lot. So why are Pascal's triangle and the binomial coefficients and really the choose function, why are they all linked to each other? So in the previous section, we learned about how the choose function, uh, sorry, about the choose function and how this was related to Pascal's triangle. We could see all of these patterns that we've got here. But why do the rows of Pascal's triangle give us the coefficients in a binomial expansion? So let's consider a plus b to the power of five. I've got these five brackets here. And I have drawn this line between all of these different things, which I'm going to explain why I've done that in just a second. This is one possible selection of terms from each bracket for a particular thing I'm going to look at. So each term of the expansion involves picking one term from each bracket. That's how you expand brackets. This one is being multiplied by this, this, this and this. So how many times will a cubed b squared appear in this expansion? Well, this is why I've drawn this one example. This is going to be an a cubed b squared because I have an a, an a, a b, a b, and an a. In other words, I have chosen three a's and two b's. So I've chosen one, two, three a's, and I have chosen one, two b's. So how many times will the a cubed b squared appear in this expansion? Well, it's going to depend. It says to get a cubed b squared, we must have chosen three a's from the five brackets because the rest are going to be b's. So if we're choosing three a's out of an option of five, there are five choose three ways of doing that. Remember, this is the choose function that says how many ways are there of picking three things out of five, which means that we get this five choose three. There are five choose three ways of picking the a cubed b squared part of the expansion of a plus b to the power of five. So let's just actually see what that is. Five choose three is 10. So there are gonna be 10 ways of coming up with an a cubed b squared. And this kind of makes sense why five choose three is going to be the same as five choose two. Because look, five choose three and five choose two, they are the same. Because instead of choosing three A's from the five brackets, I could say, well, how many ways are there of picking two things, the B's from the five brackets? So I've got five brackets, and this time I want to say, how many ways could I pick the two B's? So that's why it makes sense for this particular one. A little bit tricky to explain that, but I'm hoping that the idea of selecting the terms from these brackets kind of connects all of these things together and it allows us to see um, a little bit more about why binomial expansion is working. So in the next video we're just going to do lots and lots of practice.